Welcome to Redbeard Radio. This is Brian Keith, and today we are talking with someone who has done a thing over 10,000 times. You know that I love talking to people who can bring you the technique for how to do something and do it amazingly well. Stu McLaren has been in the membership site game forever, so long ago that when I first started in, I was using a piece of software he was involved with, Wishlist Member, to go make things amazing for membership sites back then. Now he's focused on training business owners like me how to go and make their membership sites better. Welcome to the show, Stu. Brian, thanks so much for having me, buddy. I'm uh, excited to be here. I'm so excited because it's tribe time of the year. And last year, I was in tribe back in 2020 with a bunch of my friends because Greg Jenkins got a bunch of us together. And both taking your course and then taking this mini study group we made inside Greg Jenkins' Monkey Pod Marketing was transformative not just for me, but to seeing all these other entrepreneurs studying up, getting stuff deployed. It was incredible. So I'm excited for this time of year. And you have something coming up this Sunday. And I would love to hear a bit about what is this live training you're doing on Sunday? Well, yeah, thank you for that. This is my favorite time of the year because uh, each year we host a free you know, live workshop. And uh, this is it. And this is where we unpack, like, how do you take what you already know, love and do? And how do you turn that into recurring revenue in a membership? And the reason I'm so passionate about this is because the last year has shown us that we just never know what's going to happen. And my heart goes out to all those entrepreneurs whose worlds have been turned upside down because of what has happened. You know, and the reality of it is, though, those who had recurring revenue in their business did not experience anywhere near the stress or uncertainty than those who didn't. And so uh, this is why I'm passionate about it because my belief is that every single entrepreneur should have some form of recurring revenue in their business. It's why big businesses like the Amazons and the Apples and the Netflix and the Spotify's and the Pelotons and the Disney Pluses, like it's why they've all moved to a subscription model. And it's why literally thousands and thousands of different businesses have done the same, no matter if it's a product-based business, uh, service-based business, knowledge-based business or community-based business, you can do this. And th- and my role in it is showing you exactly how to keep it simple and make it happen. And this is what I've been doing for the last 12 plus years, helping literally tens of thousands of people do it in all kinds of different markets from photography and calligraphy to fitness and finance and music and art and health and dog training and parenting and so many more. And so uh, I'm passionate about this. This is what we talk about and what's coming up on uh, the webinar. How does a business owner know if they are ready to go and start this part of their business or study it versus some folks might think, and I certainly am included in this in the past, though now I've started my membership in part because I did what you told me to do in the course. Uh, (laughs) How does someone know that they're ready to go jump on the stew train and actually start studying this stuff and deploying it? I, you know what? I don't think, Brian, that we are ever, uh, quote, ready. You know, it's kind of like having kids. You know, it doesn't matter uh, how prepared you think you are. The moment that you have kids, you're like, oh, my gosh. Like, you know, um, and so the reality of it is, is that you 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 just need to get going. And the key to that is just keeping it super simple. You know, uh, too often, the thing that prevents people from moving forward is thinking, oh, I've got to wait until I have an audience of this size or, oh, wait, I've got to uh, pick a platform and, or I've got to create a whole bunch of, no, 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 you don't need to do any of those things. Uh, As it relates to the audience size, you don't need tens of thousands or thousands. Just a couple hundred is all you need. And that a couple hundred people could be on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, your podcast. It could be uh, on an email list. Wherever you are communicating with your audience, that's where you start. And I think of like even people like Faye Cornhill. She was over in the UK. She didn't have a big audience. She didn't have tens of thousands or thousands. Heck, she didn't even have hundreds, Brian. She had uh, 77 people in her audience. She did a founding member launch and ended up welcoming 10 members at 500 pounds for the year. That was 5,000 pounds right out of the gate to jumpstart her membership. Or I think of, you know, Kelly. Kelly, you know, she specifically helps uh, business owners with WordPress. And she, again, didn't have a big audience. She had 59 people in her audience. She did a founding member launch and ended up welcoming 29 of the 59 uh, into her membership, which generated all kinds of momentum. And my point in sharing that is that 
with a smaller audience, as an example, you have the unique advantage of building a more intimate relationship with that audience, which leads to much higher uh, conversion rates and people saying yes and joining the membership. And so most importantly is that we just got to get out of our own way and we just got to get started because the earlier you get started, the more momentum you will build. And the reality of it is with memberships is that those early days, it's about just making the tweaks and identifying like how can you best serve your members in doing that you'll experience way more momentum. And with a membership, that momentum compounds. It's not like a product where we are hoping that people are gonna come back and do business with us again. Memberships, we know with certainty that they are. So next month, we're not starting from zero. We're starting by carrying forward the momentum from the previous month. And that's why I love memberships. It's a compounding asset. And the earlier you get started, the more momentum you build over time. Momentum is key. Folks, to get on the live training with Stu, that's this Sunday. Go to redbeardconsulting.com slash tribe to go get into that membership. And one last question for you, Stu. How can people who have podcasts use those podcasts to drive more traffic into their memberships? Well, here's the thing with a podcast, and I have my own podcast too, you know, the Marketing Your Business podcast, and the reality of it is we don't know who our audience is. We're blind to that, right? It's really a one-way conversation. Yes, we may hear from people who might share it on social or, uh, or may leave a comment here or there, but the reality of it is is that the number of people downloading and listening far surpasses the number of engagement or comments or feedback that we may receive. And so the difference between a podcast and a membership is that a membership, we are actually on that journey with people. So if you're already got a podcast, it's a natural next step to have a membership because what it does is it continues the conversation beyond the episode. And so it's a very easy way to be able to take what you're already doing in sharing in a podcast and extend that experience and helping people go deeper with what it is that you are teaching. And by doing that, here's what's going to happen. You're not only going to uh, begin developing recurring revenue in your business, but more importantly is you're going to begin helping your audience experience far more progress than they ever would uh, outside of a membership. And that's the true uh, you know, reward, in my opinion, of running a membership is being on that journey with your members and really helping them make the progress that they're after and watching and seeing what it is that you are sharing be put into practice and get results for those you serve. Beautiful, Stu. Folks, if you like how Stu thinks, you want to be on that call this Sunday. Go to redbeardconsulting.com slash tribe to go sign up. Stu, thanks for being on Redbeard Radio. Brian, I appreciate you, buddy. Thanks so much for having me.